Two kids. I got two kids. I got uh, Georgia is 11, blonde hair, blue eyes, real smart. And uh, I got another one. The only kind of man that would leave a woman who makes more money is the kind of man that doesn't like free money. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, you know where I can, no, I don't, no. <laughs> think, yeah, what it takes to be a comedian? Well, do you watch stand-up and think, well, you know, I maybe could do that. I think I could handle that. Could you? No. Uh, me neither. Perhaps you can give it a try, though. Uh, there is an art to doing it, and, and our next guest has 30 years in the business. He currently runs a comedy school and holds free seminars nice. about the craft. So please welcome Andy Engel, the founder and owner of the Manhattan Comedy good School. Morning. So good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Um, so April is National Humor Month. National Laughter Month. I mean, we lo all love to laugh, mm -hmm. and comedy right. is growing, right? It's a growing industry. I think it's exploding. I think that a lot of professionals are realizing that it's not just a bucket list class. It's not just the ultimate natural high, which is phenomenal. It is something that people in business need. They need it for confidence, mm -hmm. selling, teaching, improvisation, writing, and of course public speaking and pitching to investors. Yeah, I will say like the best teachers I ever had were the ones that brought humor to lessons because right, that exactly. was the way to keep people entertained right. and interested in the topic at the same time. You right. have more, 30, more than 30 years in the business. Yeah. Caroline's, Gotham Comedy Club, just some of the places you've worked right. at. Uh, so what does it take? Well, I think an original voice. I think somebody who's got their own original perspective, if that makes sense, like a Gilbert Gottfried, yeah. a Sam Kinison, somebody that's just so original they can't be denied. Mm -hmm. I think that's a fundamental con fundamental uh, a trait for every successful comic. Mm. But if you think you're funny, your family thinks you're funny, that doesn't necessarily mean you're yeah. funny. Well, I, I <laughs> want people to come to our free seminar on, on, on April 28th at Gotham at 2.30. And there are a lot of people that are not gonna quit their day jobs, yeah. but they really enjoy doing it. And for some people, they do quit their day jobs. Yeah. Wow. I mean, not, I'm not saying that's a big number, but I think that for even people that are not quitting their day jobs, it's helping them with confidence, charisma, selling, teaching, all those business skills that I don't think people think that stand-up is going to help so much, but it mm -hmm. does. And I think it's the best way to increase those skills, I would argue. Yeah, I mean, we all know funny people, right? That, right. That make us laugh, and I, I love making people laugh, but <laughs> what is it? take to, to kind of break through? You've worked with Louis Black, Dave Chappelle, Jeez. Ray Romano, Caroline Ray, Chris Rock, Jerry mm -hmm. Seinfeld, John Stewart. Those are the big names, right? Right. But then there are the smaller ones who are just up and coming. How do you break through? Hard work, yeah. commitment, no plan B, mm -hmm. um, a tremendous amount of energy and commitment. But what, what is, is it the, is it the personal stories? Where do you see the most success of like bringing the jokes to the stage? If some, somebody's got to find their persona and that doesn't happen overnight. It takes going out night after night after night and saying, oh, wait a second, that's really who I am. Mm -hmm. And you're, it's like an onion. You're peeling back the layers till you get to the core, to, to who the person really is. Mm -hmm. And they're so comfortable on stage at that point because they've done it so many times that that is, their, that is who they really are. And they've gotten there and they're confident mm -hmm. and they're not afraid anymore. And they're not afraid to, to mess up or have, get heckled. It doesn't mean anything at that point. Mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't scare them. Yeah, right. well, I mean, that we, makes we, sense. obviously we don't have enough time to do the whole course, <laughs> but what's one of the first lessons that you teach folks yeah. that take this? Well, the first thing I'd say is there's a hack list. It's material that's been done to death, that's derivative, stolen, bad. Yeah. Um, that's number one. Learn the hack list. Number two. What's one thing on the hack list? Um, <laughs> Jack Nicholson impersonation. Oh, gosh. Oh. Christopher Walken impersonation. Yeah. Oh, okay. Airline jokes. Um, McDonald's jokes. Yeah. Um, the, the difference between L.A. and New York. Oh. Okay, gotcha. Stay away okay. from the hacks. Okay. Yeah, stay away from that. Put that on your refrigerator. Yeah. And remember those, the things that you don't want to touch on. Those are like the third rail of comedy. Okay. If that makes sense, you know. If you're going to talk about sex, it should be original and unique and something that really is resonates, not just because you want to get an easy laugh. If that makes sense. Good thing you said laugh, like, say something else. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, very good. So how can folks find out about how they can take your course? Go to our website, Manhattan Comedy School. Yeah. Uh, ManhattanComedySchool.com. And we have the, the, uh, the free, free seminar, seminar on the... Um, listed on the uh, website. Okay. I'm We'd love to have people, obviously. You know. I, I'm interested. Yep. 
That's good. And everybody can use the tips. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you we so appreciate. much for having me. Very grateful. Yeah, of course. Really good grateful. to see you. We could use Thanks a few a lot. reasons to laugh. Yeah, we always need right. a few reasons.